is one thing in life that I will never understand. Why do people, no matter how much money you have, no matter how famous you are, why do people feel so entitled? Because at the end of the day, I'm going to tell you straight up how it is. Nobody cares. Nobody does. Nobody cares about your feelings. Nobody cares about your emotions. Maybe your family does. Maybe your close people do. But at the end, it's just you. And this video that I'm going to show you guys is entitlement through the roof. Now, this is a personal trainer. She's recording pretty much her doing a set. I assume something with her glutes. Who the hell knows? She's right in front of the dumbbell rack, right? So she's standing right in front of the most busiest spot in the gym. And this other guy who's working out there tries putting his dumbbells back. And she says, I'm in the middle of a set in the most sarcastic, nastiest way ever. And this is the type of shit that pisses me off. Because why do you feel so entitled? And props to this man. Because I would have handled this situation in a completely different way. Probably would have screamed at this woman. And said who the hell do you think you are? Um, so listen guys. Here's my advice. Don't film in front of a whole dumbbell rack. If you want to film somewhere. Film somewhere where there's not a lot of people around. I mean you could film. But just don't be a jackass about it. Oh, I'm in the middle of a set. Oh, you're in my way. Like, shit like that. So I'm going to play the video for you guys to get a better understanding of what I'm talking about. But uh, before I play this, quick shout out to Joey Swole. I think that's his name. He makes videos on this. So this video actually is credit to him because we're reacting to the video that he technically made. Because I have no idea what this girl's TikTok slash Instagram is. I could care less. So... It technically, we're reacting to his video, but the way he says it, it's it's just he's always speaking facts, guys. Um, so shout out to him for defending these type of people and giving people like this not the credit they deserve. Because the worst part about this is, is you know, when when people who are entitled and they make their comment well known, they post it all over social media just to try to act like, oh look what I did today. I told this guy I was in the middle of a set in the most sarcastic a-hole way. So let's watch this video. I'm sorry. I keep talking. I'm in the middle of a set. Oh my gosh. The entitlement is through the roof. Like who the hell do you think you are? This goes back to what I said. Nobody nobody cares about you. You don't have to be entitled like this. Why are you filming in front of a dumbbell rack, first of all? That is literally a dumbbell rack. And I would say wherever your freeway benches are in the gym, they're probably your most busiest sections. Or the squat rack. Squat rack's always busy too in most gyms. But guys... This, uh, people like this irritate the shit out of me, man. So, shout out to this guy. I, he handled this in such a good way. Because I would have handled this differently. He was polite. He kept his cool. He said he was sorry. Which, he didn't even have to say he was sorry. There's nothing to be sorry about. So, uh, just terrible. But, um, let, I want to show you guys what Joey said. A lot to go over in this video. So, please, bear with me. First off. Just because you're filming at the gym does not mean that everybody else has to stop their workout just for you, right. including putting their weights back. And secondly, you're a personal trainer and coach. How do you not know better than to work out directly in front of a dumbbell rack, let alone film in front of it? And if somebody does come along, you move immediately. And this man is nothing but nice to you, but you decide to put this post up anyway? Seriously? And what's even crazier is right after this, you post to advertise your challenge saying how you're so thoughtful and non-judgmental. Then immediately after that, you post this, making fun of this man on a treadmill. How thoughtful and non-judgmental. What? What? Oh, people amaze me every day. What did she caption the picture? And non-judgmental. Man on a treadmill. She said, I'm sorry. She said, please don't be in this, please don't be this person leaning back on the treadmills. 
Uh, but yo, know, please don't be this person who films in front of a dumbbell rack. <laughs> like, <laughs> do everyone else a favor, please. Oh, you know, oh, this is sad. And you're a personal trainer. You know, a personal trainer, by the way, if you guys don't know, motivates people, picks people up, helps them work out, helps them live a healthier life, is nice to them, kindness, love, trying to reach a goal. No, that, that video, I, listen, I, I don't know. I mean, just hopefully this lady just, just becomes different and maybe she apologizes. Who knows? Maybe she has been. But I mean, oh man, this is, this is toothpaste at its best. <laughs> How thoughtful and non-judgmental. You know, I hope this gym sees this and kicks your ass out. You need to do better. Mind your own business. Amen, Joey Swole. So shout out to him for making that video um, because that was ridiculous. Um, so like, I don't understand. Like, I, I'm in the middle of a set, so like nobody can walk by. <laughs> like, I don't fucking get it. You get what I'm saying? So, I mean, I, I would straight up, you know what I would have done? I would have walked by, like after she would have made that nasty comment, I would have just kicked her phone over <laughs> and said, eat this. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what i would have done um just the way she like um looked at her phone too like it, uh, like she's looking at it like <laughs> i'm showing him guys this video is gonna go viral like <laughs> i don't get it why but i feel so bad for the guy that walked by straight up because you know this poor man i mean i'm emotional like for him because why do you have to be like this there's no reason to be like this. Like, people, bro, let me say this. People already don't want to go to the gym. Like, let's be honest. No, none of us like going to the gym. I'll be honest, you guys. I don't like picking up 80-pound dumbbells and doing chest. I don't. I Nobody likes doing that. I don't know. If you guys like doing it, hey, God bless you. I don't like doing it. I don't like picking shit up and putting it down. Especially doing cardio after. It sucks. But I'm there anyway to better myself because you got to do things that make you uncomfortable. That's how you feel your best. But not to mention the new people. Like say that guy was a new person who went to the gym. He just signed up for his membership. He's not going to want to go back there after that. He's not going to feel welcome. So that's why I say, guys, always be kind to everyone. That's kind of the point I'm getting at. If you're not, especially the gym, you know, the gym environment is supposed to be a positive environment. It's supposed to lift each other up. You know, especially you ever see like a group of friends working out, they're pushing each other, they're pushing, they're pushing, they're pushing. You know, you got people spotting one another. Maybe you don't know someone that's spotting you, you know, in a way they're helping you. It's a positive environment to be around. So, um, and let's be honest, guys, gyms were never meant to be filmed. Nowadays they are because that's the world we live in, but gyms back in the day, when our parents were younger, I'm only 25, so yeah, when my parents were younger, they were not meant to be filmed in. They were meant to go to for an hour a day after a shitty day at work or whatever you got going on in your life, and it just be alone. That was it. So um, I wish we could go back to that time because nowadays you just you got to put your head, hood up and just look at the floor. <laughs> you know, it's a crazy world out there. But um, this guy, in my opinion, he's a role model for others. And um, he deserves a lot of credit for being calm in this situation. Um, I mean, this is why a lot of, I mean, I don't know about your gyms that you go to, but a lot of the gyms that I've seen recently, um, they're banning things like tripods, cameras, because people are sick of this shit, you know? People just want to go to the gym, not be filmed, and they just, you know, they want to enjoy themselves. You know, I used to be like this, though. I, you know, I used to film me and my buddies' workouts. I would, hey, you know, this would be a great YouTube video to post. I don't even feel comfortable doing it anymore. That's why I just make videos in my bedroom now because I didn't think at the time. But after doing it, I'm like, you know what? Maybe some of these people don't want to be on camera. So, I mean, I give credit to people who do film in the gym. But, I mean, a lot of people have their own gym now, especially the big guys who do film. They get their own gym and it's just them filming. So... Um, so I don't know. These are just my thoughts. This guy was so nice. I'm going to end the video here though. Um, please let me know how you guys feel, um, about this video. I would love to hear about it. It's a shame because we see way too many videos, um, like this and it's, it's just really sad. So, um, hopefully this person does better.
And you know what? The only thing we can do is forgive this person. Hopefully this person forgave herself. But hey, she got what she wanted. She went viral. This is exactly what she wanted. And I'm pretty sure she's probably sitting there going, I wish I never would have recorded and posted that. Um, I'm fed up with these type of people. I know you guys are too. Let me know how you guys feel about this. Until next time, guys, have a wonderful day. Peace.